family friends and fellow gamers welcome back to grumpy gnome gaming i am the grumpy gnome and we are in the gibberling mountains we have just encountered this flaming fist mercenary and he basically told us to get the hell out so no <coughs> we won't but we're not going to attack because we don't want to lose 10 reputation points. So, goodbye. So, we are going to go through most of this area. Uh, I guess when uh, Beamdog created the uh, Enhanced Edition, they realized that this was a very uneventful region. So what they did was they threw Dorn's quest. Whoa, what the hell was that? A wild dog is attacking the flaming fist. <laughs> okay, go for it. Anyway, whoa, now we've got an enemy sighted, and it is a wild dog. Okay, uh, let's go. Let's see what we got to do here. Good on you if you save the day. Okay. Hmm? I you point, I punch. seen that yes? in a script before. Where, go for the whoa, eyes. where an go for enemy the eyes. will... Rask! They wish misdirected. Where an enemy will attack a. Uh... Oh, but I. Maybe the hostility against us put him into action. But anyway. Uh... I stand ready. Let's Go get, for yeah. the eyes, Boo! Go for the eyes! Run! Okay. Let's. We don't have anything we want to say to him, so let's just move on. It will be done. Okay. And. Once again, he doesn't... Whoops, there was one more. <laughs> okay. Let's let's go. Let's, we're done. He's obviously not going to approach us, so we're good with that. Okay. This is almost an area where you have to clear the region to uh, get everything. But, um, no, what I was saying was that... Um, Dorn, his quest was written into this region, and uh, is it Emowyn who sees something shiny? You see that, Emowyn, right there? See it? Go get it. I care not. Okay, go get it. Go get I've it. I've done had enough of this. I've done had enough of you. Ooh, and um, Dinah here is going to get that. That hmm? is a uh, ring of With fire ease. resistance. Uh, once again, should we uh, clear? Well, I want to take you to the Dorn's Quest area. More dogs. For us, right. fallen! I always am. Okay, come on, guys. Yes. I should just keep uh, melee weapons. Let's talk more fight. On these two. I stand ready. Yeah. Okay, he's dead. Not a problem. But there's more. There's al always more. And here we go. For the fallen! No, my heart's really not in this. And you're going to go after Khalid, or are you going to stop? You're stopping. No, you're going after Dinah here. Yeah, That's call. not it's cool. directed. Not cool. Hmm? All right, here we go. Everybody? No, where's Emoin? Yes, Emoin. not a problem. Okay. What else do we need to know about this area? That's about it. There is uh, the Dorn Quest region. This there's another area of uh, murdering goodness for you murder hobos that just love combat, and um, it's just nonstop gibberlings forever. It seems like, and um, 
that's kind of the area where Dorne's quest is also. So we're going to, let's go pass by there right now. The lady who was standing outside the inn over in Nashgal, her name is Taurus. And she is complaining, not complaining, she's concerned about her husband who was seduced by a necromancer. And it just turns out that the uh, necromancer is part of the same guild as uh, Senjak and Dorothea are. And I guess they're working for um, whatever that guy's name is. Sen Senjak. No, Senjak is the guy that we met. Anyway, it's the guy who's going to be on the Worm Bridge Crossing who they said, you know, he always hated you or whatever. But anyway, right down here off of this point is where the necromancer is set up. And you have to have Dorn in your party to uh, trigger this. But you can see it's a bloody mess right here. And what she does is uh, she's got a whole bunch of uh, servant male servants here. And she casts her spell. They all turn into skeletons. And then the big battle takes place. And um, that is the Dorn quest. That's actually two of three. The first one being where you pick up Dorn and you battle Dorothea and Sanjak. The second battle is where... Um, this one and the third battle is going to be on the bridge where uh, okay there's lena we're gonna get back to her and that was samuel that was on the ground this is the um gibberling corner and stand by for a crap ton of gibberlings to come raining down on us. Oh, my heart's really not in this. And so, just want to make sure that everybody go is for the range. eyes, boo. Go for the eyes. Rask! Remember what we said: if uh, if these guys get out of range, they will actually stop shooting. You have need of me. So what I'm going to do is put them on the farthest one. And then that way, oh, right. my really not in they this. can keep shooting, even at the closer ones. For the fallen! I always am. Okay, so that worked out well. Okay, let's do the easy part with the gold first. And then, uh... Whatever they need. Dinah here, you got a couple spells. And it looks like you got some magic darts. Or crossbow bolts. I stand ready. Anyway, let's... Not a problem. See if there's any more up here. And sure enough, there are. Okay, arrow people. What? Make it the farthest uh, one. Yes. Go for the eyes, boo. Go for the eyes. Rask! And that cleans that up. So one, two, three, four, and gold M1. <laughs> You're a queer fellow. <sighs> yeah. Hmm? Okay. Um, still, duct tape. It will be done. The game needs duct tape. Okay, let's go down and get uh, Samuel. Have a talk with Lena. The clearing of the fog of war is not necessary. Uh, you might pick up an additional encounter to if you're really struggling for experience points. But quite frankly, there are enough experience points right. in this game that more likely than not, the, they wish uh, my ear? the characters are going to max yes? out. Not a problem. They're going to max out unless they lifted the experience cap because it used to be in the old edition uh, once you hit um, 
89,000. That was your maximum experience. Uh, with the extended edition, I never uh, got that far. So I don't know if the uh, limit has been list lifted or not. But we'll find out in this run in a perfect world. Go for the eyes, boo! Go and for the eyes! Because Baldur's Gate is really the Go only for the eyes, boo! Really Go in for the eyes! I can run with this Always crappy uh, laptop I have until I actually upgrade my system. Uh, I'm just going to do different variants of uh, Baldur's Gate. Uh, mainly, uh, once I finish storyline, I'm going to do uh, one with fewer characters and a uh, storyline to them in particular. Camaraderie, adventure, and steel on steel. The stuff of legend, right, Boo? Right, Minx. And, of course, I want to do the evil run. And when I do the evil run, there's actually going to be two evil runs that we're going to do. I'm going to do one with the uh, members of the PCs in Baldur's Gate. And then I'm going to create my own uh, party of <sighs> evil. And actually, that is going to be uh, based a little bit on Warhammer Fantasy, where uh, it's my homage to the ogres, because I just, I love ogres. How are you? Oh, Lena. Please, wait a moment, kind sir. You must forgive the appearance, but I've been wandering in the wilderness now for more than a week. You have got to help me. My friend is badly hurt and might die if he doesn't get assistance. Please. Help me. Sorry, lady. Well, we don't have time for this. Uh, what's the name of this friend of yours? And, of course, we did trigger the Samuel dialogue, but uh, take us to this friend. We're always ready to help a lady in distress. That's my noble response. It's him right here on the ground. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is Samuel. He's so sick right now. Sob. I don't know how much longer he has to live, but you gotta take him to the Friendly Arm Inn, talk to uh, Galana Mirashade at the Temple of Wisdom, and she'll help him. And of course, Galana's a good person, so now we know that this is actually a good quest. So, okay, okay, we'll take him. Or, we'll take him, but only for a prize. Or, sorry, girl, we don't have time. If you do this option for a price, she will give you a jade ring. However, you know, we're not going to demand anything, so we'll do it. Out of the kindness of our heart, which people today don't do anymore, so. There we go. So, we game Samuel. And, you know what? Now, we are done with Giberling Mountains. So, let's get the heck out of town you know what let's go back here we'll go up to this part of the map and good enough oops unpause <clears throat> okay guys we could actually follow them so remember if they go back into this area and that friendly uh, arm in mercenary uh, confronts us we've got issues because now we have samuel but um we're going to Friendly Arm, and there we're going to turn him in, regroup, inventory management, and look, we are done with this entire area down here. So we don't have to come back anymore. This is Durlog's Tower. This is actually going to be the last region we do. <sighs> Possibly before even going to Baldur's Gate. I don't know. I want to stay out of this area because it's kind of funky. So what we're probably going to do is friendly arm, go over to Peldvale, come down to Larswood, and work our way down and or go up to Fishing Village and see what we could clear there. But anyway, friendly arm. 
You have is, been waylaid by oh, enemies. We've been waylaid by yourself. enemies and must def Oh, hey, look at all these bandit scalps. Well, okay. Let's figure out how we're going to do this. Emowen, you're going to What you want? Finally get to dual wield. So, put this over there. I don't know if I want to do this right now because that's going to make you a 20-24 to hit or you'll just be a, um, a 16. Let's do that. We'll keep you at a 16. You're going to go single weapon. You're going to go single weapon. You're going to go single weapon. You're single weapon. And... All we got to do is keep Dinah here out of uh, trouble. So here we go. You, I stand ready. Are gonna launch a fireball right there. Oops, right there. You cool are going ones. to get him. You are going yep. to get him. You are going uh, to Can get I him. help you? And you are yes, going to get Yes, oh, omnipresent him. authority figure. Dinah here. That card. You are going to web this group. See how that works. As directed. Let's go. Ugh. Okay. We know we're going to take damage. Dinah here is running for safety. Who's dead? Nobody yet. But you can go hmm? get him. Okay, you. Whatever they come mean, as well as I can. Safe. You know what? Okay, everybody here is dead. Wow. Okay, watch this. You three yes? on him. You two you have need of me? On him and Dinah. Did I wish here. my ear? Yep. Magic missile on him. Sounds like somebody leveled. Boom. Oh, look at that. Wow. That Quite frankly, that was awesome. <laughs> okay, that worked out well. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm just enjoying this little uh, bandit slaughter we just did. Uh, you know what? Screw it. Let's just. I stand ready. Yeah, pick up everything. That that, like I said, we'll do inventory management when we get into town off camera. We need to go to Friendly Arm. Get rid of Samuel. And, uh, wow. You point, I, I punch. I am just still overly impressed with how this went. That, that was cool. Awesome. Let's go. Hmm? Hmm? Okay. Make sure Not a problem. Got everything. Oh, I saw so spell. I saw Let's it. talk more fight. Oops, he's full. Khalid? <coughs> uh, yes? And there it is. Okay. We're good. I think. Yes? We it get will everything? be done. We got everything. Let's come up over here. Looks like we got everything. Do we get everything over here? Looks like we got everything. And finally, got it. Let's go. Wow. <coughs> that was cool. I'm sorry if you're not sharing in my uh, excitement from that. Hey, we're at Friendly Arm. There's our entrance. It will be done. So we are going to take Samuel back to the, uh, you know what? Stop. Level. You've a task? Because I think she's going to get more spells. Maybe not. I don't know. Doesn't matter. But here we go. Level up. Boof. And nothing, nothing uh, to hit armor class zero goes down by another one. And uh, she got seven more. Uh, what do you call them? Experience. Hit points. 48. Cool. She's getting up there. So, here we go. Uh, you know what? 
Nature's servant awaits. I am doing this only because we are going to uh, be identifying some stuff in the uh, in. I stand ready. And that spell is going With to ease. Uh, get reset. So let's go bring back Samuel and then figure out where we're going to go. Like I said, probably Peltvale and then work our ways. Unless we uh, can go to the uh, north. And if I had enough sub subscribers, I would actually ask you guys, what do you want? But um, maybe in another You are day. welcome here in Garl Glitter Gold site. You're welcome in Garl Glitter Gold's site. I love that. Anyway, uh, it would seem that you have someone amongst you who's badly injured. Is there something I can do for them? Uh, no, we're just going to drop them. Or this man is Samuel and we are to bring him to you. And oh dear, it's Samuel. What bad shape he's in. I'm glad you brought him here. He's such a fine young lad. Anyway, so let's see if there's anything right here. Okay. It's a ply uh, that he let himself be persuaded by Lena. Okay, so I guess mm, he's been tricked to desert the fist. Uh, well, nothing can be done about that, but it's for as hell, so here we go. Anyway, whoops, we dropped something because it looks like we might have gotten some. So we got 500 EXP. Reputation went up another one. We lost Samuel, so we gained a Potion of Heroism and an Elixir of Health. And of course, I had to drop the belt because that put too many uh, items in my inventory. So that's okay. We'll just uh, I called. And pick that up. All right. That was that. Good deal. Let's hmm? regroup. Yes, and not a problem. Now we're going to go back to not a problem because we want to uh, rest, get our spells taken care of, and uh, we need to do some identifying. And um, if not we a don't problem. Do anything else on this uh, adventure? At least we'll go ahead and get some uh, items identified. So let's see. I Why stand ready. Magical. It doesn't look like it, but you know what? I'm going to already give these to you. This goes to you. Those, you hold on to them. Why do I only have five? There should have been more than that. Arrows, you need arrows, and Khalid. You can use them. I got bows. Bows to sell. What else do we have here? Let's just give you all the bows. And there's another bow. And some more arrows for Khalid. Oh. Really? Oh, there's some more. And I know I wasn't going to do this, but we have time. Um, you swords can all go to Minsk. Okay, what do you have? You got bows. Who's got bows? I've got bows. And I've got bows. And... Top off your arrows. And this can go to you. This goes to you. More swords for Minsk. And identify. If we get a chance, ident inventory fall. Okay. Open that. And another sword for Minsk. Okay, why are you full? Because you got spells. Give that back to you. 
and there we go. You in there, in there, ten more. That's five hundred. Okay, here, in there, in there, in there. Uh, top you off like that, and that goes there. This goes there, and everything magical. Okay, here we go. Make sure you got all identify. And here hmm? we go. What do you got? It will be done. I must rest. My inn uh, is open to all team. who behave themselves. You know, it's probably for that reason that I would not uh, take Minsk in a party. I would rather have uh, Kievan. Well, Kievan would replace him. Uh, maybe Aljanus, the uh, paladin, would uh, fill his spot. Anyway, uh, let's uh, sell stuff first. So let's get rid of Sharpbow. This, 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 this. Remember in uh, Nashkel, they gave us seven for those. And sell that. Okay, that's good. You've got sell, sell, sell. Wow, that. I think we're getting cheated on that big time. And that's stupid crazy. Man, I'm going to do it just to get rid of this crap. But that doesn't oh and of course i just screwed myself here okay whatever that that wasn't happy okay okay do you have anything in there you want to sell that 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 fortunately gems and magic weapons do not lose value so um that worked out well, and I'm still keeping that. And you're going to go on this big identify trip. So we're done. You know what? No, we're not asleep. Peasant, rent. Okay, let's see what kind of goodies we have. This is going to be like Christmas, where we get to open gifts. All right, there's our episode. But... Before we go, I'm not going to leave you guys hanging. Let's uh, let's see what we got. Let's. let's it's been some... dreadful slow business lately. Let's open some gifts and get the room. Oh, we just did. So, let's. Uh, I think we're done, aren't we? Done Whatever here? they need. Yep. Oh, let's pause and go to this. Big things first. Uh, Wand of monster summoning. And seven, twelve hit die of monsters. So that's like freaking awesome. So good. That would be something to use if you want to take out uh, Dritz. You can summon that around him. And uh, he'll just hack and slash at monsters. Um, I do understand that uh, summoning skeletons is the best thing. To do so, if you got a cleric who can summon skeletons or something, that is the best because for some reason Dritz doesn't want to attack skeletons. Okay, armor, ah, uh, spell, chainmail, uh, whatever it is, it doesn't even. Oh, there it is, just plus one chain, so nothing. This one is studded leather plus one. Uh, what? M1 has right now is better than this. And this one is the protector of the second plus two. Now, still, I believe what M1 has is better than this because this one, your armor class is eight against piercing weapons. And, um, I think that's almost a penalty, but um, 
I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong. So, uh, what else? Let's do uh, the sword. Uh, you know, I think we can just do everything. The Harrower plus one. This is a uh, awesome weapon because, sure, it's just a plus one longsword, but it is plus three against undead. And this would have been a great weapon to use in the Valley of the Tombs when we were going against ghasts, ghouls, and the Revenant. It would not be effective against skeletons because they're not um, affected by slashing weapons. But any other of the undeads, this would have uh, been an awesome weapon. And I am going to keep it. So, Okay, robe, spe uh, magic, or not magic, but electrical resistance. Knave's robe, slashing attacks now. We're going to sell it. I really have the robe that I like the best for the mage here until we get the robe of the Arc Magi. And this one is uh, missile weapons because I don't want my uh, mage picked off by uh, missile weapons. Okay, let's. I guess we still have some. Let's, these are those poisonous darts. Oh, and I didn't even have to uh, identify. Her lore was high enough to uh, figure this out. So, um, darts of wounding, they're just normal 1d3, but the target has to make a save versus death or take 20 points of poison in 20 seconds. So, what this is going to do is every second, it's going to go boom, 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 boom. And those are going to be hit points that you're losing for 20 times. So, ouch. I'm going to keep these because um, I'm going to give them to Khalid to throw as um, a very, very potent backup. Uh, ring here. This is the uh, fire uh, resistant ring. And that's 40% fire resistant. Uh, these are magic crossbow bolts, which might be able to sell because nobody has... Oh, and already identified them as plus one. Once again, the lore of Diana here is high enough that she can just look at some items and uh, tell what it is. And then finally, these things, plus two arrows, which, um, cool, we'll take them. And I believe that is everything magical that we have. Let's see, anything magical? No, nope. anything magical here? Nope, here. Magical. We're good. And here. Oh, you got these. So take those. Give these here. And identify. Oh, I'm out of spells. Okay, good enough. Let's leave it at that. I am going to go ahead and um, reset my spells. We're going to rest one more time. And then we're going to head over, sell what we don't want. And like I said, we're probably going to go into, uh, let's do Peldvel and then dar drop down into uh, Larswood. And then we're going to go up into the north. So, all right, guys, if you're with me, thank you very much uh, for coming along. And I'm the Grumpy No. Please tell everybody to subscribe to my channel i could really 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 use the support uh, let's see so far you made cookies you made brownies oh heck make make a holiday ham and take them to your neighbors or have a potluck at your house but wait for covid to end first anyway i'm grumpy gnome i'm out of here take care and we'll see you in the next one bye bye